In this lesson, you will learn about ratios. Ratios are simply a comparison of two quantities. And ratios can be written in three forms. A to B, it's read A to B with a colon, or A to B with the word two, or it can also be written as a fraction, A to B or A over B. So if we take an example, let's say that there are four boys in the room and there are six girls. So this is a ratio of the, of the boys to girls. It's a comparing, we're comparing the numbers. So there's four boys to six girls. We could write it four boys to six girls. Or we could write it as a fraction, four boys to six girls. It's read the same way in every single one. So it's, it's a ratio, four boys to six girls. You can simplify the ratio. This is also equivalent to two boys to every three girls. Okay, we just simply divide it by two as on the numerator and the denominator. Okay. This is a different ratio than if we were to compare the girls to the boys. Okay. It's not four to six when we, when we do the girls to the boys. It would actually be the opposite. Let me get a different color. So it would actually be six boys to four girls. The order matters in ratio. Okay. So the six boys to four girls, six boys to four girls or six boys to four girls. And again, we can reduce that down to three boys to two girls. The labels are also very important when it comes to ratios to know which quantity you're talking about, okay? So making sure you have the correct order, you can write it in three ways with a colon, with the word two or in a fraction, but they're all read the same way and they're all comparing two quantities together. And that's the end of our lesson on ratios.